Hi, my name is Alex with 8 Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about Scrum versus Waterfall. If you haven't already, please make sure you consider subscribing, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into our discussion today. Okay, so today's video is a little bit different. I'm probably not gonna reference Jira all that much, but I wanna talk about something very, very important. I wanna talk about the differences between Waterfall and Scrum. This is very, very key because often what I find teams doing is they will take a Waterfall approach, but they do it in Jira, and because they do it in Jira, that puts a Jira sticker on top of their process, which then gives you that false sense of, I'm agile now. And a very common behavior that I see is a team will take their, their waterfall plan with their phases and all their explicit tasks and they put them into Jira. They put them into the backlog that every sprint can become a phase or every epic becomes a phase. And then the team executes basically like they would in a waterfall methodology, but within the confines of a sprint. And that is not being agile. That is basically just doing micro waterfall, right? You're just doing waterfall, but in a very sprint-like event. And so that's kind of like a very, very fake agile, but it's typically how I see teams start doing the conversion. They, they start taking what they know, which is this very waterfall plan, and then they just literally translate it into Jira, and now they put that stamp of being agile, and then they start execute the same methodology and the same strategy as being waterfall. But waterfall versus scrum is very important to know because scrum isn't like a destination. It's not just a, a solution. It's a methodology. It's a way to think and approach a problem. And so one of the examples that I like to usually teach, and this is the reason I'm creating this video, is I want to talk to you. I want to show you and illustrate why scrum and the, the idea of being thinking like Scrum is way more important than just taking a waterfall plan and sticking it into Jira. Because that again is not going to solve the reason why you're moving away from waterfall and into Scrum, okay? And so just for some context, waterfall has been around for a really, really long time. It works really, really well. And if you're not familiar with waterfall, let me show you what waterfall typically looks like. Okay, so in the world of waterfall, you have these things called a phase. And if you look at this picture, you can kind of see the effectivity of a waterfall, right? You, you're in one, you start at the very, very top and you slowly work your way down. And what makes this great, because waterfall isn't bad, but what makes this great is that you kind of get all your ducks in a row and you cross all your T's and you dot all your I's before moving to the next phase. And you rinse and repeat every phase as you move down this waterfall. The bad thing is from the moment of inception, all the way down to that final, you release it to the customer, that time gap can be a really, really long time. And in the past, in the projects that I've worked on, I've seen it as maximum of three years. So from the moment that somebody has this great idea to the moment where the customer finally receives that product, it could be a really long time, six months, a year, year and a half, two years, three years. So a lot can change. A lot can change in the requirements, a lot can change in the desire from that customer. But unfortunately, this waterfall methodology doesn't accommodate, doesn't really help a change in desire and requirements from the customer to be reflected back into the plan. Because once you start down a waterfall path, you're pretty much locked in. You're pretty much following that original spec, that original requirement set, and you're not really changing unless there's like some really drastic decision but for the most part, once you lock this in, you execute to the end. And Agile isn't like that. Agile is different. The whole concept of Agile is to just think about it in short iterative bursts, where every sprint, every two weeks is what I prefer, but every sprint, you re-analyze your process. But Scrum is not having a sprint for feasibility and a sprint for the plan and a sprint for the design and a sprint for the build. That That is not doing Agile within Jira or, or just doing Agile at all. So you want to be very, very careful that you don't fall into this trap of taking these basic um, phases, if you will, and just jamming them into a sprint or into an epic. 
I've also seen teams basically have like a design epic where within that epic, they call out all the design tasks that they're going to have. And then eventually over two or three sprints, they get that done. Okay. That again is, is basically taking that same waterfall approach and just masking it with Jira. And that's not going to do you any good. So what I want you to consider, the way I want you to think about this is if you've ever done a, a home remodeling project where you kind of gut things down, down to the studs, and then you basically start with putting new drywall, you put a fresh coat of paint, all new carpet, right? And so in a waterfall way, you would essentially plan out the entire home remodeling. You would plan out your colors, your floors, your furniture. You would get all of that feng shui and stuff out of the way and you, and you would have it all basically worked out from an idea, from a conception plan, right? Then you would go in and maybe work with with an interior designer and you would actually get like the layout of stuff and then you'll then you'll actually start building it, right? So then you paint all the walls and you put all the flooring and you put all the tiles and then you order all your furniture and then when you get to the very, very end, you discover that your furniture just doesn't quite match with the color of the walls. And so what do you do? You basically have to repaint the whole house or get all your furniture and that can be very, very costly. But with Agile, the way we think about it from a Scrum or Agile perspective is rather than doing the whole house in one shot and planning for the whole house in one shot, let's pick a small room. Let's pick like the bathroom. Let's pick like the smallest square footage where we're actually going to get value, right? So if we do like a closet or the smallest room in the house, we can, for a sprint, do it all, do it end to end. We plan out that room. We paint that room. We put the carpet for that room. We put the um, furniture for that room. And then we take a look back at the end of that sprint and we reflect and we look at it and we go, does this color go with this floor? Does it go with this furniture? Does it go? Does this make sense? And if the answer is no, guess what? You can pivot. You can pivot at that point and all you've lost is a tiny 200 square foot section of your house that you might have to redo, but the rest of that home, the rest of the other 2000 square feet can still be pivoted because now you don't have to redo all the paint. Now you don't have to redo all the work that could be very, very costly from a time and budget perspective, but because now you had just enough, just enough to get feedback, just enough to learn if this thing will work or not, then you can pivot for the next sprint. You can make the appropriate adjustment and then basically rinse and repeat. And that my friends is the value of being agile versus waterfall. Cause in waterfall, you don't get to find out if you like this thing until the very, very end. At which point, if the answer is, uh Oh, then you have a big, uh Oh, because at that point it's going to cost you some money. It's going to cost you some time to redo a lot of hard work versus in scrum or in agile, you get to do just enough to get some value, get some information, get folks talking, get some feedback and then adjust accordingly. And then you just rinse and repeat every time you're still doing everything and you'll eventually get the whole house. But the key isn't getting the whole house done faster, which I think is like what most people believe scrum is going to do. It's going to get you there better, faster, cheaper. On the contrary, all scrum is doing is when you get to that final destination, you have more confidence that that final destination is the right destination because that journey, that journey of agile got you there, not the destination itself versus a waterfall, you're waiting until you get to the destination and then you reflect. And at that point, it might be a little too late. Anyways, that's it for this video. Again, a little bit more philosophical than my typical videos, but I just wanted to describe how just being in Jira isn't gonna make you agile and you actually do need to do a mental shift. You have to mentally approach and strategically approach the way you plan your work, the way you execute on your work. It has to be different. And so it's not just taking a plan that's in waterfall with your phases and sticking it into Jira. That's not going to do you any good. Anyways, hope you're subscribed to the channel. Hope you got value. If you did, drop a like. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or you want to add to that conversation, let me know. Maybe you completely disagree with what I said, which is totally fine. We, we obviously are not going to agree with 7 billion people around the world. But if you have any, any comments or concerns about this, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.